Are we now? We are. All right. I think we are. All right. Let me just go ahead and open up some links here as we're getting started. Do you think we're going to need the uh, document cam? Um, I don't think we have much to show show off today, so probably not. Everything we have is digital. Yeah, for the most part. And I now that we have the, the good old Charlie cam, I can go ahead and we have a, do the, the really cool the just showing my screen stuff. But hello, everyone. Welcome to Talking Tech. Today, well, we're talking about tech like we always do. I don't know what else we would talk about. I mean, isn't that's what that we show segmented about, to? We talk about everything. It's yeah. We talk about Taco Bell every time. We do. Yeah, uh, it, it's some. We it somehow just got brought up now. Yeah, I mean, we just, just now. It goes down the list of like, okay, what have what, what what can we get to today? And then it always somehow rambles down the food somehow. Because we're always <laughs> hungry. We're always it's. It's we a, always do them the at never seven ending hunger of tech people uh, on Thursdays and so it's all it's always past dinner and we're always hungry. Yeah, that's and true. So the conversation just devolves to food. Yes. Now we did start rambling before we even introduced any of ourselves. So, we're going to go ahead and introduce ourselves then. So, I'm Charlie, the guiding Ohio online learning coach here at the Mass Public Library and sitting just to the right of me is I'm Colt. Uh, I'm <laughs> do you want? Do you want to do? Uh, you want to do your crazy cool uh, explanations that we did for your video today? I don't remember it. <laughs> I don't remember. It. It's in the description. You'll see what I do in the description. I think um, it was something like video editing extraordinaire yeah, or something. Page, page and uh, video editing extraordinaire. Yes, those were not my words. Those were put in uh, after. Yes, when the last one was uploaded, and my name was used. And someone wrote that about me. So whoever that was, thank you. Pretty sure that was Sean. Yeah, I think that was, was Sean. Say, thank me. you, Sean. You're not yeah. here with us uh, he, physically, but you're here in spirit. Yeah, he's having fun in West Virginia doing trail stuff. So let's go ahead and talk about some tech news. Why? Should, why? I mean, why not? I mean, yeah. this is what that show is supposed to be about. We're moving. Uh, do we want? To, do we want to talk about? Now, here's the thing. Pop culture or tech first? Let's start off with something fun. We okay. just opened the stream. Fun? Yeah, all right. So I'm going to go off and start with something fun. How about that? All right. All right. Melanie? So, yeah. Charlie. Cam. Yes? Okay. Charlie, Charlie Cam. Cam? Charlie Cam. There we go. All are. right. So first thing I'm bringing to you is a Lego Transformer. Now, I'm sure some of you Transformer people, fans out there, have probably already seen this. If not, well, hello. Welcome to the stream. And you're just now seeing a $170 for Transformers Optimus Prime that transforms. Now I have talked about a self tr transforming, um, a self transforming Optimus Prime before, that actually you know transforms itself. And I, I no, no, it was last time I talked about the trailer that they came out with too. I think, or did we not? I don't know if we got that out anyway. But it was. It, I remember it being brought up. Transformers got brought up either last time or the time before. Yeah, because I think for the last three times, somehow, some way. They've added new things to this transform. Is it like an anniversary this year or something for Transformers? I don't know, but we have been talking about Transformers a lot. I know that that makes me question if there's like an anniversary for it this year or something because they they've been coming out with a lot of uh, Transformer stuff lately. But yeah, it actually looks really cool for the most part. I mean, I know it, they just recently released a uh, Back to the Future Lego set with the uh, DeLorean and everything. There's a few pictures of it transformed and as the truck and or the bot. Actually, a nice intricate little set. No, it even comes with the uh, the weapons too. That's kind of awesome. So 1984 is when Transformers. 84. So dude, that's not. It's not. No. no. I mean, maybe maybe it's just the time for this stuff. It's maybe eighties nostalgia it, is. Yeah, I mean, eighties is coming back. I mean, I think I talked about the um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles like arcade collection yes. from last time. Yes. I know a lot of that stuff is slowly starting to throw itself back at us, which is nice. I mean, my aunt and uncle grew up around that time, so it was like 
when I was growing up, they crammed all that stuff mm -hmm. down my throat. <laughs> Just be careful, you two gentlemen. You're talking about my childhood, so be very careful. I'm not saying it's a bad <laughs> thing. It was a great thing that I, I got, like, like um, cultured. Yeah, cultured, cultured into, like, the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and all that kind of stuff. I love that stuff. But, yeah, I think that was a interesting little starter piece there. Put Charlie on the defensive, Melanie. Yeah, I mean, I was never, I never, I never That's jumped on the, I'm here for. <laughs> I mean, I never jumped at the fact that it was bad. I'm just saying, you know, and uncle grew up in that age. And that was like the first thing they did. <laughs> Same with the original Star Wars games, like the Lego Star Wars ones. Mm -hmm. Those are great. Play those on a PS2. Those Lego awesome. Star Wars uh, on a PS2 at the dentist. That's true. That's also when room. they had the the waiting room, like PlayStations and stuff. I remember the there was a video store in uh, Giant Eagle mm -hmm. where the pharmacy is now. Okay. And um, they used to have a video store that had a, like a a PS2 that you could play all the time. It was an N64. I don't remember exactly which one it was. Huh. But it was like you know like the Walmart display cabinets where you could just play demos and stuff. It was kind of cool. All right, so you got anything to share? Is that we rambled about oh, we retro rambled about stuff for retro stuff for probably about ten minutes? <laughs> no, I think only five. No, I had about ten. About ten minutes. Yeah, let's move on to something else. Um, as Colt scrolls through his uh, Google Doc one. of links. And, and everything. Improved now to a Google Doc. As a yeah. So it went from pen the paper or printouts to laptop with articles already open to Google Docs with links on them that take you to the web page. Yes, but we don't like dead air. So we can always say that there are lots of things happening yes. this summer. And lots of things that Charlie's doing this summer. Yes, I'm doing a lot of robots this year. If you don't like Legos, it's going to be a long summer. Yes, yes, yes. Good thing everyone loves Legos. Absolutely. I say I don't think I talked to one elementary school kid that didn't like Legos. I think I had one class that was really low on hands, but other than that, I think was, was he fun. in the um, like a, a Legos are for kids and I'm not a kid stage or I don't know. He just like didn't I, like or was the things. or was the anxiety of raising their hand and like saying I uh, I like Legos because some like. That's the age where it's like Some it's not cool. Thing. Yeah, it's it's like it's not cool to go with the crowd at that point, kind yep. of thing, you know. Got to be a rebel. Yeah, exactly. Yep. <laughs> so what's your what's your story over there? Okay, so my story is, um, so the Marines, uh, they developed a way to create uh, hydrogen fuel. Um, in the field. So instead of waiting for trucks like a convoy or an airdrop, okay, they can take their, their tank and use aluminum pellets or scrap they find to uh, so, chemically create in a, in a so tank. We're, so, we're going, so we're going Mr. Fusion from Back to the Future kind of thing. That's over my head, bud. You've never you've never seen Back to the Future at the very end where Doc comes in and he just starts throwing trash into uh, the Mister Fusion. I I remember that, but it's been a very. It's not as loud as it used to be. Thank, Thank you, Margaret. Margaret. Um, where were we? Uh, me rambling about movie stuff that. Related to, to yeah, yeah, where you know Doc comes in with the Mister Fusion on the back of DeLorean and he uses it as a reactor for the. It's been a long time. It, I mean, it's it's a forgettable one, I would say, because it's like he kind of throws it in quick. You're not like me that looks at every little detail of the movie as I watch it every no, time. I haven't watched. I haven't watched any of the movies in years. Okay, never mind. That's a little bit different then. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that you no, don't like, watch it as often as no. someone like me would. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so they, they call it the HTARP, the Hydrogen Tactical Refueling Point. Okay. 
with simple ingredients such as aluminum pellets and water. They can mix up fuel and have it ready in as little as 30 minutes. Now, how long the hmm, how long would it take them? Well, I mean, it says minutes, but like anything specific? Like, I think that's kind of amazing. It says it takes a half hour. For a half to, hour for to them to use the mixture to create. But is there like an amount of time? Like, or not an amount of time? Like a, a, spe a specific amount? Like a specific amount they had to put in? Well, yeah, it's a it's a chemical. You ever take chemistry? No, I, I didn't. I, I didn't take I didn't chemistry take in chemistry high school. And I know that chemistry. Well, is a I know. Very I know there's. Thing and you I know. Just, I know chemistry it's not exists. Like cooking, where you decide to put in a little salt. Well, I know, but I'm just saying, though. It's like. No, it does not mention how much how okay. much aluminum they have. It's okay. Put. It's just I never took chemistry. I know chemistry exists, but. I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> this has gone off the rails before the first. I know. Yeah. It's even better. I'm both impressed and disturbed by this. <laughs> Tech has destroyed my mind. This is I only know ones and zeros. I don't know how to do chemical formulas for chemistry. All right, that's about it. Really, that's, for that's, this one. That's it for that one. It's yeah. just uh, they. Boom, there's, aluminum pellets and water and fuel. There's not really much else to talk about in here. I mean, I would um, say it's probably just an experimental thing at this point. Right? Or does it sound like well, it's it, actually it looks like it was already a, implemented? A thing that Marines had um, in the field thought would be a good idea and decided to try experimenting with it and then told someone higher up and got it. Hey, we should try this. Yeah. Hey, what if we did this? What if we did this instead of this? It would make ten things ten times easier. All right. It's all, all right. for that one. It's all for that one. Yeah. That's it. Nothing else. Just yeah. Aluminum I mean, they, water. They, boom. Fuel. They have this. Uh... He's scrolling through. He's reading. They have a picture. If you want to go to the document cam. Went to the again before you it, yeah, before he turned it on. I just okay. turned it on. There we go. Is there actually like a picture? Yeah, it's like uh, I don't know how well it will come out. Well, it's not too bad. No, it's actually coming out fine. Huh. This is I that mean, what it, it looks like when it's, it's a gone? Five gallon bucket that's steaming, <laughs> so it's not a whole not a whole lot to look at. It's but. not like anything like super fancy or special, but mm -hmm. it. I mean, if it, it's practical, it works. This must. This looks like a prototype. Oh, by far, it's a prototype. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, it looks That's like it was literally like strapped shit. together. <laughs> it's all strapped together. It has to be a prototype. This seems safe and non-toxic. You know what? I it's it's aluminum and water. But I guess yeah. I have no idea what they used <laughs> to make the aluminum and water into combustible fuel. So yeah. <laughs> It could what go. It I could know? go really south real quick, depending on how it's done. All right, let's uh, let's talk okay, about. So someone oh, hold thinks on. it seems safe and non toxic. Yeah. Um, oh, it's Morgan. It probably okay. isn't. I don't think so. There's no way. <laughs> totally, absolutely. It's awesome. So I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about uh, Amazon because you know how Amazon's been talking about the, uh, the the delivery drones that deliver stuff to your house. They just pick it up, drop it, it's done, okay. over easy. Is you don't that, have to worry. Don't the, yeah, it would be like a quadcopter. It's like a massive okay. quadcopter. If Melanie Are you wants ready to, as a yep. ready yeah, for the like, cam? like, this is this is what the. I don't know if it's even a prototype. I think it's going on in a few spots around the country for testing, but this is what these look like. So I don't know what the like the size of these things are going to be. I read a little bit into it, not hugely into it, but they're just having, you know, issues trying to get the momentum for this whole thing. Because I think there's a few, there's a few other services are, that are trying this kind of stuff. Um, I think food places or food apps and stuff are trying this stuff too. Okay. Um, so like Uber Eats and yeah. uh, DoorDash. But kind of like thing? you see, you see like these, the pictures of the drones flying around with the brown paper bags. Mm -hmm. You know how nervous that makes me feel? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I 
mean, it's one thing to have bird poop on your head, but who wants a pizza to like? Well, and then the, well, then the issue is like, how hot is that pizza? As it's falling to you on your head, I predict a like, lawsuit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's kind of like it's the, like the, the McDonald's coffee. coffee. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's okay. Me and Melanie are the same wavelength about yep. that one. But yeah, it's like it's gonna be like the it's gonna be the same thing with like these drones. I mean, there has to be a weight limit to these things. Oh, there, there's, there definitely is. But what is it? How heavy? I don't know. I they don't give that many details, at least. Well, that's not good. well I mean, there's it's still prototyping. But I feel like they spend a lot of money on packaging, so yeah. Like your soup didn't go splat. Are you doing search? Landed uh, capacity. Remember, I can't spell. C A P. Nothing coming up. No. There's two. Capture came up, and that's about it. Try weight. I don't know where two is. Two disappeared. It's probably oh, no. It's just still the capture. I don't know. I just feel like there are too many possibilities for pizzas landing on people's heads. Or you know how like anything. birds will run into windows. Yeah. Imagine that, but it's with a. a 50 pound hunk of metal yeah just flying out a window it would shatter the window maybe. it probably won't won't run into the window <laughs> i can't imagine they're going to spend uh millions of dollars on a piece of equipment that will run into windows but mm -hmm. i mean i i feel like they're gonna say like there's some like really cool ai to it to where it scans the area as it's trying to find your location and you know it's supposed to pinpoint your house and all this kind of stuff yeah that's the the last thing we need is <laughs> artificially intelligent drones yeah, but then if you live in an apartment building that doesn't really work no well exactly it's like it's like places out here where there's just a house and it doesn't work with apartment buildings. It don't work with like skyscrapers or anything, unless there's going to be new Amazon drone drop-off points at the top of skyscrapers, and that just somehow scans the package and says, "Oh, it goes to this apartment." Amazon penthouse, <laughs> penthouse deliveries. The penthouse deliveries. Only, only for the ten percent. Or they'll just uh, they'll they'll install shoots at the top. Yeah. Okay, then that's still back to what's happening to my pizza. Yeah, it's getting thrown <laughs> through a hundred feet of tubing right. before it lands at your doorstep. <laughs> well, especially if it's a pizza or a burger or something, it's going to go down through those tubes and it's going to get all smashed and thrown Shaking, around not and stirred. <laughs> there would have to be some sturdy packaging within that other packaging. Yeah, then they'll be upset about you know how much waste there is in the packaging. Yeah, I know. It's I don't know. I don't know about this whole drone thing. Like it's cool. Like it's a good idea. In Yes, but in practice, I don't know how it would work. Because it would have to be for more rural areas or suburban areas and stuff like that. Like, I don't even know if that was a word. Suburban. What I just said. I knew it was I just, I just go off of what I'm thinking in my head at this point. But it's going to now be a word. It's been a long yeah, day. Yeah, I'm going to make it into a word. Yeah, it has been a day. It has been definitely a day. But yeah, so Amazon's still testing out them drones. Now later I have another story about another drone, but that's for later. Other other, other different things. That's for later. Actually, conveniently, I accidentally showed it. But anyway. All right, is it Colt's turn again? Yes, it is Colt's turn. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Also, feel free to drop some of your tech questions if you have any. Yes. We're still open. We're still open the tech questions, even though Sean isn't here. <laughs> it's just that I keep forgetting to say that we're open the tech questions. Thank you. Thank Margaret. you, Margaret. I think it's not working in here. Yeah, I might have to get that looked at again. Unless it got turned off. I don't think it can. Speaker's not working again. <sighs> okay, so Microsoft Edge, the uh the thing that everyone uses to look up Google Chrome download mm -hmm. uh, is now the second most popular web browser. It beat out uh, Apple's Safari. Apple Safari for the Apple devices. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Well, I mean, you. I mean, it's kind of like the the question of how is there more doors than 
wheels in the in the world. How many? Oh, this how is many... only counting as a desktop browser. Well, okay, so it's desktop browsing only. Okay, so there's still, I'm sure. Well, if you count in the um, the mobile users, I'm sure well, that... just by sheer volume of Apple products. Mm -hmm. Well, but I also go off how many Windows PCs actually exist in total. Millions. One. Yeah, I mean, it's the same with Apple stuff. It's like there's millions and billions of those too. But globally, there's more Windows systems than there, I would think, than mm -hmm. Apple systems. But I could be wrong. I could be, look, I could look up the statistics right now and say, do it. There probably is either more Windows systems than. Okay, so. Back to desktop web browsers. So in March, Microsoft Edge had a 9.65% desktop market share. Um, Melanie? Yes. Can You're we, hoping that I'm going to say something? Yes. Can okay. you go to um, the document cam? Sure. So here we have the percentage of uh, web browsers used on different desktops. And big green one up at the top is the amount of people that use Google Chrome. So they, Microsoft has made progress, but um, not quite even half enough of what they would need to overtake Google. Um, so I think we have a, something oh. underneath for oh. Melanie. Oh, so oh, Miriam nothing. was asking, what do you two use for browsers? Um, well, I currently use Chrome the most. So I'm I'm with the, you know, the highest statistic, I think, out of everyone's, <laughs> you know, I think Chrome is still the highest used browser ever for the uh, most part. I, I mostly use Chrome, but mm -hmm. if uh, Chrome isn't showing me what you want, not really what I want, but isn't showing me relevant results because Google okay. will will put ads oh, over top of it. Yeah, I, I um yeah. I'll use DuckDuckGo. DuckDuckGo. Okay. Duck, yeah, duck. I can I can see that because you know the ad you can turn on you can turn off ad tracking on DuckDuckGo, can't you? I have no idea. I don't know. I've only used DuckDuckGo a few times, and I've went through like the settings of DuckDuckGo, and I'm like. Okay, that's a cool feature. That's mm -hmm. a cool feature. <laughs> but I haven't used it that much to even understand it. All right, and then I do have the percentages of different um, operating systems for, like, Mac and PCs. Oh, worldwide. Yeah, so an independent study, I think this was posted in, this is a Quora form from mm -hmm. 2020, um, or 2022, I guess, or no, 21. Um, Windows is 79%. Mac OS right. is only 20%. Linux is 0.7%, and I don't know what BSD is, but it's 0.3%. I've never heard of... I've never heard of BSD before. Well, it could be... It could be. I mean, obviously, it's a... It could be something that I'm just like... It's short for something. Yeah, it's short, so. it's short for something. It's an acronym for something. I'm not going to look it up right now, but <laughs> I'm sure Sean would have. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Colt and Morgan use the same browsers. Okay. I figure I would think maybe for the same purpose, That's kind of. Common. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've heard people talk about DuckDuckGo, and I think there's a few people that, that I know use Brave. Yeah. I don't know. There's so many new bra uh, like browsers out there, it's so hard to keep up on which there's, ones are uh, new. There's one. I can't I can't think of the name, but when you um, – every time you search or open up a new tab or something, I can't remember what it is, is like donates a little bit to ocean conservation. Hmm. Melanie, do you have any idea? I was trying to figure out what BSD was. Ah. Uh, yes, uh, mostly Google, and then swap back to Duck Duck, Duck every so often. Okay. Right. So it's like a swap between back and forth. I'm gonna move this back so we can see it. Move what back? Oh, I would watch because I think there's I think there's a stack of books behind it. I think we're at the bottom of the there we go. we're at the bottom of the chat anyway, so mm -hmm. it would have just kept scrolling down anyhow. All right, I need to mute right. my I need to mute my mic or my sound. Sorry, I listen to music very loudly on these speakers. <laughs> I could probably blow these speakers through the roof if I wanted to. 
But I don't want to right now. So it looks like BSD may be something related to Unix and Linux. Okay. All right. So it's just another version of Linux of some kind, it's probably. Somehow related some sort of to subcategory. It. And at some point, mm -hmm. some angry technical person will type into the chat and go, no, she's wrong, and we'll go put in the answer later. Yeah, probably. I think I have a pretty good idea of who that angry technical person will be. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What, what else do I have under here? I don't know. Is there any any video game enthusiasts in here? Kind of, maybe. I don't know in the chat right now. But since I am a little bit. So everyone knows E3 has been canceled again. What? Yep. Again. For the two years, two years, E3 has been canceled. The big video game convention that goes on every June from the 22nd through however long it usually goes, or some sometime mid-June, is being taken over by Summer Game Fest, owned, owned, uh, uh, done by GF Kingsley that does the Game Awards. Okay. So basically, same idea as E3. Bring all the big names together, mm -hmm. have them stream online somewhere. But this one, he's hosting in IMAX studios across the country. So you that can actually... cool. Yeah, so like, you know how... Used to go to E3, you could watch all the big conferences so and all that kind of stuff. Crowd yeah, you still get the crowd feeling, even if it's streamed. not. Yeah, exactly. All and right. these IMAX okay. theaters are supposed to be playing these all week while the Summer Game Fest is going on. Huh. Okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, I like this idea because I miss the like seeing the reactions of people like in the like mm -hmm. uh, like in the Microsoft. Um, was the Microsoft Theater in like LA and stuff like that going Giant crazy? Calls. Yeah, like going crazy over seeing the new. I don't know what would be the newest game now. I don't know another Halo game for some reason. They would throw out another Halo game or something like that. But you know, you get the, you miss that when you know mm -hmm. everything's online. It's like and midnight stuff. game releases. Exactly. It's like I remember everything's digital. They don't exist. Anymore. I remember when kids in my class would take off the next day of school just to play or go to GameStop and sit in line. Mm -hmm. to get the newest call of duty game <laughs> like yep. i remember that i never did that though community things yeah you know? i mean it was cool at the time like you would skip school to play the newest game and then you would come to school the next day and be like it was so cool mm -hmm. i'd be like awesome cool i don't have a console to play those it's all <laughs> good though but yeah i think it's kind of a cool concept i, I don't mind the game awards i like watching the game awards but I just want to see how this steps up to E3 and how it takes over, maybe. I don't know. E3 is planning on trying, and again, I'll keep saying mm -hmm. trying, to come back next year. Um, but because of things still looming and everything else, that they are kind of mixing around and trying to get things sorted. But I don't know how well that will come <laughs> anytime soon. <laughs> so, did, did they say why E3 was canceled? Well, the, the main reason E3 is canceled because they bring, you know, large and small studios around the world together into one place. Mm -hmm. And since COVID is still going on, trying to bring mostly mm -hmm. every studio, every person. And, you know, some of these studios are, you know, in like hot spots right now, like China and all that kind of stuff to where it would be kind of hard to make sure that everyone stay safe in this current time so with summer game fest kind of going with the online thing again and doing it in yeah so you still have people you, going to their local yeah. movie theaters which is is a good thing yeah and then you have them meeting there this community yeah. good thing and they're it's not still, going super far so they're no. not spreading spreading no. covid not really but like at the same time it's still Thank, Thank you, Margaret. you, Margaret. But yeah, it's still kind of the thing of, even though it's everything's still going on, we're still trying to come back to mm. normal at some point, and we're trying to start off with st small stuff. You know, we're not going big yet, but I know PAX has already went on. That's another big video game ish kind of thing going on. Then they did that recently. I don't think I've ever heard of PAX. Never heard of PAX. Uh -uh. It's not as big as E3 or mm -hmm. like Comic Con and stuff like that, but. It's still a decently sized. It's another nerd convention. Yeah, another nerd convention another nerd that convention. I want to go to at some point. Got it. You know, it's that kind of thing. So, Cole, you got anything else? 
Should I do the uh, the quick air conditioning tips? Yeah, if you want to. I mean, it's getting there. It's very appropriate since some of us are very toasty today. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, some parts of this library, it's always so cold. And then you go to the other spots and you're like, I'm right like literally like falling Actually, apart. You have a, a thermometer in here. Yeah, though, I was going to say. I did. So let's, let's get the, uh, the Melanie in-house weather report. <laughs> um, it is 81. Is 81 degrees in here? Um, it thinks so, or it wherever it's the the thing's actually set up to be. It's set up on the bottom of this microphone. Well, I mean, with bodies in here, it would make it That's a little bit I'm warmer. I think it, warmer. it was like seventy something when we were in here earlier, and the air is currently yeah, running now too. It's so like right we on get us. the morning sun, and so it yeah. just heats. Oh yeah. Thing. Yes. It's burning in here. All earlier right. it was. It was. It's not too bad now. No, it actually isn't. I think it's just humans now. Mm -hmm. so, right, so what you got? Tips for keeping your house cool with air conditioning uh, and saving on your air conditioning bill. So keep all the doors, windows, and openings in the room closed when the AC is on. Because hmm. if you're letting all the cold air oh, out, yeah. it's just going to keep, keep running because mm -hmm. there's no putting your insulation to waste no no needed. no true insulation going on everything's just seeping out windows and doors and all that crazy stuff so to help the ac cool faster it is advisable to clean filters at regular intervals yeah so well, i know there's companies out there too that mm -hmm. send your filters on when you're supposed to change them out so i think it's isn't it like every three or four months you're supposed to change out your filters or is it Depends sooner than that and I guess how often you use it too, right? Yeah. I'm not crazy experienced in the realm of uh, yeah home maintaining well, yeah home ownership. I'm, I'm not either. It's just my my dad consistently changes out the filters, and he's like, "Oh well, today's the day," and I'm like, have, "For what?" I have, I have a calendar reminder that tells me <laughs> to change the I would. I'm gonna be like Melanie one day. I'm just gonna I be do, like, I, I need a I need a reminder on my Google uh, my. Uh, <laughs> My Google Calendar that says, "Hey, your filter's ready to be changed." That's what I do. I do the uh, the heating one. Today's the day. The on the furnace, the furnace filter. Yeah, we regular. I know we regularly change that because I do it, but oh. I don't, I can't. I say, isn't, think. Isn't it technically the same filter? But if you have, if you have a combined if you have a combined system, it is. It's a, for me, I have a combined system. Yeah, I was gonna say we have at my house. I have the same thing. It's the same filter for both. I honestly. have Hey, Sean joined Hello, in. Hello, Sean. We see you down there. He's here in time for us to discuss air conditioning. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. When he doesn't currently have any, I think. I'm not sure what he's doing. He might have a cabin. He might. I don't know. He might be tent camping. Yeah, I don't even know even if doing. it is a cabin, he might. Or it's a or it's a hotel. Not have... I'm not sure. Mine is the same. So like most, it looks like most everyone has like the combined systems. Mm -hmm. Now, I guess depending on age of house and when the original system was put in maybe it's a still a split one but I, i've never been over to your house to see what kind of you know i'm not just gonna go in there and be like hey what air conditioning system do you have colt no i'm never gonna do that oh colt's in there sean's in a cabin sean is in a cabin is it air conditioned we need to know is it, is it like one of those fancy like glamping cabins where it's and is know, it is it like one of the tricked out um, with everything is it one of the window air conditioners or is it is it separate from the building? We're asking the great questions. We are today. asking great <laughs> questions. We got. We're 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 asking our own questions. We're not letting people. Oh, rustic. I rustic. Think that means no air conditioning. Okay. This cabin is full of mud. <laughs> you know what? Those heat pump. <laughs> um. Those those cabins that they build into the ground. Yeah. Full of mud. Yeah, you know those actually do. Yeah, they do maintain lot. temperature pretty well. Yes, they do. It's like it's like very it's, energy efficient. Yeah, it's kind of like the same thing with igloos. They somehow keep the warmth in there, even though it's snow and everything. You know, ice and everything. Twenty mile ride. How's your back, buddy? <laughs> that's that's usually a cold question. <laughs> Twenty miles is a is a good day. I guess it depends on how fast he was hitting those bumps and stuff, right? <laughs> I don't know what his cruise is. So like. are you giving us more more things about air conditioning? I feel like He said it was dad, awesome. I feel Very like good. My dad is like all in for your air conditioning tips. Because that's the kind of stuff he talks about. 
So if you want to so, finish your list yeah, of I'll, I'll keep air conditioning tips. Air conditioning tips. <laughs> you should. Not that we aren't interested in what Sean's mm-hmm. doing. Oh, yeah, no, but. So keep the fan on. Keep a, a, a fan going so it circulates the air yeah. inside the uh, inside the room. It'll make you feel cooler so you won't crank it up as high. And, That's uh, what the repair guy told me the last time I had a problem. Mm-hmm. Like, well, you really need to keep a fan moving because your air air conditioning won't turn on as often. But yeah, plus moving air. I mean, mm-hmm. just yeah. I would say once anyway. once summer hits, my fan doesn't go off until it gets cold again. Until after labor, like for oh yeah, oh yeah, twenty dollar box fans. Oh yeah, they'll sit in your house and they'll run for ten years. And you won't even think. I say it. I have I have a ceiling fan and a tower fan yeah, in my room. A tower fan. Yeah, I would say we. Because since our um, air conditioning blew last year, and we had to replace it, so while we were waiting for the replacement to come in, we all we invested in tower fans mm-hmm. for the entire house. But they they eventually just migrated to both me and my sisters in my parents' room because <laughs> they were barely ever getting used downstairs. So I mean, yeah, leaving your fan on is a good thing because that's what I did every summer for years i just leave it on just let it circulate all day having a basement well that too basement is amazing in the summer yeah because uh it doesn't matter it doesn't matter how hot it is outside your basement's usually always kind of cool right crawl down the stairs and it's (laughs) crawl down the stairs i feel better Mm -hmm. you know all right so for tip number four Turn off the lights. The sun's out. If you got windows, you don't really need the lights. Turn them off. Lights generate heat, even if they're LEDs. Oh yeah, LEDs generate a lot less than. Uh, I can't. Think. Incandescent. Incandescent. And uh, not. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. How- yes, LEDs are less than incandescent. Mm-hmm. A lot less. Still, still heat. Mm-hmm. That means more more money being pumped into your air conditioner i mean it's it's going to be bad for me because i play a lot of games on a tower computer that probably heats up to yeah computers close, are really close bad to for... 80 to 90 degrees celsius at times so i just i take for our american friends we double that and it's usually about how hot it is so about 200 degrees most of the time you're american i know i am but i can only read it in celsius sometimes oh yeah, so like some of give you a some of, some of the no some of the software only comes in Celsius and you can't change huh. it. It's the weirdest thing. But I do have some that I can flip the switch and it does Fahrenheit. Yes, but you just spent two weeks ago telling children. Yeah. About. I was gonna say a lot of our three D printers that we have here are only in Celsius. Celsius and you can't change them to Fahrenheit. And there are a whole bunch of blank stares from those kids going. Yep. Huh? Until I told them. Just go ahead and double that number, and that's how hot it is in Fahrenheit. And they would just light up because they were like, what? That's how hot that is? Trust me, it was kind of fun seeing the kids light up about the 3D printer. I think that was the most talked about thing when we were at the schools. You could you could go on a rant about what you guys did. We could. There. We could. But we still have some tech news to talk about first. I think when we get closer to the end, yeah, we'll kind of do... Oh, well, it's true. We do have a lot of tech news. We do have a lot of stuff for the library, too. Yeah, we'll do some plugs. We're we're halfway through. You want to do plugs we're halfway the, through? Actually, we're, yeah, we're actually at the 40-minute mark, yeah. You are. Yep. Because we spent a long time talking about air conditioning. Yeah, yeah. And, and, then, and then Sean's trips. Topic. Yeah, and then Sean's trips over here, too. So. Your air conditioning is important. Yes. So, do we want to talk about some summer stuff? You want to talk yeah. about some summer stuff? I don't know. I think Melanie's the one to talk about the summer stuff. Because Melanie's probably the only one who remembers. <laughs> yeah, sadly. <laughs> I was going to say, I think, yeah, I didn't turn it on. So this summer, we will be driving, well, hopefully I'm not driving, but I might be, um, stay on the tech van around Madison. So there are a whole bunch of events that we will have at varying places. Oh, we should have brought be- stuff to show up. We <sighs> should have, but it's fine. not my thing to think of. No, so, we didn't think it. We didn't know we were going to do like this a, until now. A so, mug or something. I don't think so. No, Someone's we talking. You could run off really quick. In a bunch of different places. I could. We parked in um, the north and south elementary school. I mean, I guess this water bottle could work. Tuttle Park will be because technically, park. if you think and about it, it's pressed on there. Um, 
Uh, so a lot kind of different of. places, a lot of different it's more projects. rolled on there, I think. So we want this is you still to come eight, out and uh, it's fine. see the different machines that we have, some of the projects that we have. We do have two. We're calling them open lab nights, Tuesday night and Thursday night. They'll both be in Madison Village. So that's one where if you have a project in mind, this would be a good time to come down and talk to us about it, figure out what machine it might work with. Um, so there's a lot happening, but I'm going to say go to our website, refer to our calendar. We're changing it up as we confirm different dates and times and locations. So it's going to be a super fun summer with Stan the Tech Van and with all the things that Charlie has happening. Charlie's going to spend a lot of time with Legos, um, not just with our partnership with Madison Local Schools, but also his own Lego programs. Um, using spike sets and we do kits and yes, a lot of Legos starters. and robots. Um, yes, you are going to be like <laughs> totally roboted out. Yeah. Um, can there really be too many robots? I mean, that is the question. Now, the the question would be, is there too many robots and with a mixture of Legos involved? And I would totally say no. <laughs> okay. Because especially with the the spike set that Melanie was talking about. We use a Raspberry Pi, which, again, Melanie, really is not something you can eat. Pie. Yes, there, that is yet again one of those words or things where I think it should be something else, and it is not. No, but you use a little tiny computer board, and you can program it to do mostly everything. I mean, not everything. I've seen guys play Minecraft on it. Yeah. You can run Minecraft on a Raspberry Pi. Yeah, you can run most everything on a Raspberry Pi. It's a computer. Yeah. That's literally all it is. Like it basically hits about minimum spec for most everything right now. So it's kind of insane to think about. But yeah, you can program a robot to do I mean Lego projects for the most part. But you can get them you can get to do all these projects and stuff with me. Maybe not as tired and <laughs> everything like me right now, but it'll be a well rested <laughs> Exactly. Charlie. Not a, at the end of the day, Charlie, that's talking on stream currently. <laughs> but besides that, I think it's still going to be a fun time because I have not used Spike yet. And I say yet because it's going to happen. And I got to do it fast. It before the first program, <laughs> exactly. Because we don't want to give any, anyone heart failure. Yes, no. But it's, it's, super, it's just a fun situation for us to be able to collaborate both with the schools and do our own Lego program. So that's, I think what I'm most excited about is the collaborations that we have this summer, either because it's a location that we're stopping at or we're um, working with other groups. So that's, what's pretty cool about mm -hmm. this summer. And of course, since we are a library, um, it would be important that we mention that you can still sign up right now for a summer challenge. So for every two books that you check out, either at the building or at the bookmobile. You get a raffle ticket. We are in the process of putting raffle prizes out in the building. The bookmobile will have its own prizes. Um, we have the children's prizes out right now, the adult prizes and like, teen prizes haven't I, gone out I would yet. say we're still collecting those, aren't we? We are, um, because we've had a couple of people ask whether we were only gonna have things like poppets and frisbees, and I said, no, <laughs> they're just what we had first. Yes. Because um, I'm not really sure that adults are sold on the awesomeness of pockets. I mean, I like just yeah playing with them. But I would say, I mean, I would be entertained with the Hot Wheels, even though I'm an adult. But you know, yes, but more importantly, <laughs> you can make you take your Hot Wheels to the library with the vacuum former vacuum form yeah. Hot Wheels, and then turn it into a piece of chocolate, piece of chocolate or candy, yes. or Jello. Did you or see so that I? made a, a chocolate Lamborghini while I was on vacation. That was your Did you? Ones? Well, it's our it's somebody's Lamborghini, but I, I don't know whose it is, actually. <laughs> yes, but I made the chocolate. Yeah, that's actually kind of cool. cool. It was very cool, because I listened to Joe say for five days in a row, I was looking at this Lamborghini, and I thought, boy, would this taste good if I took a bite of it, but then I thought, no, <laughs> that will hurt. So instead, I put it in this vacuum former and made a mold, and now I can have a chocolate exactly. Lamborghini. Exactly. All right. Is it time to move back to tech news? I think it is. Yeah. I, I think, think it's time. Did enough, did enough plugging. Yeah, info infomercials are over for today. No more ads. We're ad-free for the rest of the program? Well, 
probably probably not on Twitch. No. Probably not on Twitch or YouTube. They're probably like toss an ad right now. Oh, when is your next next tech open house? For the create space? Do we have one set yet? We do not currently have one scheduled. I would say at this point we'll probably do one in the fall. In the fall during school? I think so. Well, we just did one what we did a couple one weeks ago. A few weeks ago, yeah. We did one Good Friday. Um, I think mostly because we're going to be out so much this mm -hmm. summer. Exactly. That it probably wouldn't be until September. Yeah. So but we're going to be. really love to drive <laughs> up and see us. Yeah. Stay in the tech van. Yeah. You get to find the sadly white unmarked van <laughs> with stuff inside of it. I know. It's not going to stay that way. I know. But I mean, he has he has his temp tags. I no, mean, he oh, he got his plates. Oh, he got his plates. Woo. No, no more paper. No more sheet of paper. <laughs> no more sheet of paper on the back of the van now. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so currently he's unmarked. He's white. Don't be scared if it's if you see, you know, tech items coming out of it at this point. You can walk up to it at this point. Well, we have to get the ramp installed. I mean, it's oh, that's true. It's not. It's not completely done yet. Stan's no. not ready to roll yet. Not quite. But, but no almost. Way. Almost. He'll be ready to roll in time for him to roll. Mm -hmm. He will have signs. He will have signs. Are yes. we doing magnets? I don't know. Or are we going to try the vinyl cutter? We can absolutely do yes, that. Yes, we haven't <laughs> ordered the feather flag. It's on the and list. feather flags, yeah. All right, so we're actually going to get more than just magnets on the stand this year. Well, I mean, Very cool. we just got stand, what, not even like a month ago, two months ago? A couple of months ago. Something yeah, like that, yeah. After his adventure of trying to get here? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the joys was... of buying a new vehicle in 2022. <laughs> Especially right now. <laughs> it was like, where? It, it's like, where's Waldo? Mm -hmm. It's like following, so it's like taking your, your, your shopping app, right? And you're watching Amazon driver go everywhere, trying yes. to deliver your package off. Except it's intercontinental. <laughs> yes, that is true. All right. Right. Is it Charlie Cam? I don't think it's Charlie Cam. I think okay. I'm just going to talk about it. But so Ford has now filed a patent for a remote engine revving system. There's no point to it, and you just use it to rev your yeah. car. Why, yeah. why do you need that? I don't know. I was just Man. like, you know what? That's cool, but not really necessary. I don't <laughs> Like, it's just like, oh, man, I'm standing at a car show. I'm just going to tap this button because I see people looking at my car. I'm going to scare them away. But it's... I mean, you could that's... be in your car. If you're going to be at a car show, right, wouldn't you want to be in your car? Yeah, it's almost like at a car show, it's like a necessity to get to, to, to find the owner and be like, hey, you know... Can you rev it for me a few times? And then you usually will do yeah, it. Give Not us, all the give time. Us a couple, give us a couple revs. Yeah. But like, I feel like it's taking away the charm of car shows now. It's like, oh, okay. Press the button. It just The you know. robots are coming for our car shows, Charlie. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's not take that Fun away from me. Automated. No. <laughs> you will not take that away from me. I want to hear engines revving with people inside of them. Not, not just... I'm going to press a button and it's going to go vroom, vroom. We're only going to have combustion engines for a little bit longer. Can we, ju can we just have them robot-free for a little bit longer, too? Yeah. I don't know, but those Rivians are awfully beautiful cars. Yes, they are. My parents' neighbor has a Rivian. That is just a gorgeous vehicle. Huh. It's an expensive vehicle. Yes, it is. Pretty. It is. I mean, I, I look at the, the memes of this is what cars are going to sound like in 20 x hex number mm -hmm. and it's the jetsons yeah the jet vehicle like car floating sound. around mm -hmm. i'm like yeah probably just takes us back to the uh the fake car engine sounds being put in oh speakers that's inside. right i forgot about that yeah we talked about that before they have there's i don't remember who it was that was talking was about Tesla? this it wasn't Tesla. Well, Tesla does the horns. Oh, okay. You can set up the horn to be whatever you want it to be. This was... Yeah, it was Hyundai or Volvo, one of the two. And they're trying to make a system to where it's only select car noises that 
you can do. It's their cars. Yeah, it's only like their like race cars and stuff like that. So you but can't, like make a noise where it's the muffler dragging along the ground. I mean, if at some point someone's going to have the system to where you can load up whatever someone's sound gonna, you want. Someone's gonna break into the system and figure. Oh, it out. oh yeah, oh yeah. Someone's gonna be throwing in like it's gonna be this little compact car and it's gonna have like the, uh, double diesel turbo noise or something mm -hmm. like that. It's gonna be hilarious to listen to and watch and just watch go by. <laughs> All right, so that's the that's the Ford auto start thing. I still don't know how I feel about that, really. Yeah. It's just like it takes away the charm of car shows. I'll keep saying that now. It's just goodbye car shows. Goodbye. So then would they only you know, have classic car shows and not new car shows? Well, they already kind of do. Well, no, no matter what you, you do. The well, not well. I mean, most of them current car shows they just you know you roll up in anything you got and you, as long as you pay the registration fee you're in so that's mostly anything anymore unless there's actually like age restrictions on them or date restrictions on them but they they've kind of gone away from that not heavily but they've yeah. kind of started pushing away from it oh you got anything Colt? i could probably come up come, come up something. with something to your google doc the Google Doc of things and places and other cool news stories that happen to exist well, we somewhere. I want this to be an awesome talking tech for Colt before he leaves us for a few months to go do something else. This is my last talking tech for a little while. For, for what, two months? A couple yeah, months. Two months ish, two months. yeah. So you won't see me or hear me because you know hear say, me. Usually we just hear you. Yeah, usually you're like the 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 voice over yonder. Just I'm, the, I'm the bodiless voice. Yeah, in the back of everyone's ears. You like what I'm doing now. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly what Melanie's doing right now. Yes, so Charlie will have some some different friends this summer. Yes, and I don't know who they are yet. I'm not sure they do either. I think <laughs> I do. But I may not have told anyone. So yeah. This could be really this, exciting. This like could be really exciting or really frightening. How, how they always change up Ash's friends. Yeah. Yes. Every every new season. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah. look, it's this person. I don't know who you are. Bring back, who is it? Misty and um, Brock. Brock. Yeah. Oh, Misty I Brock. remember that. I love those two. Brock especially. He was such an airhead, but it was awesome. I loved Brock. <laughs> Why do I feel like Brock was way older than the rest of them? He was, I think. He was? Okay. Or he was just really tall for his age, because I think they were all supposed to be somewhere around the age range of like... 10. Like 10 to like 15. Be like no, because in Pokemon, the kids get sent out when they're 10 to uh, go train Pokemon. If you want to be a Pokemon trainer. That's like the youngest age you like can be. <laughs> second, sending out second graders to go take <laughs> wild animals. Which, if you if if you know a second grader, I don't know, I don't know if I trust him to go tame wild animals. <laughs> well, so ten year old is fourth grader, so or like turn they, they're fourth grade when they turn ten, so that's just not good. Oh, his mm -hmm. second grade would be like seven, eight, well, yeah, seven or eight, eight yeah. Okay. Still not good. Still not quite quite acceptable. Yeah, so now, Char now Charlie's concerned that I'm sending an elementary school students to to help him for the next couple months. Good job, Colt. Now he's going to have nightmares. <laughs> I'm going to go home tonight and be like, hmm, what, uh, what elementary school kid are we going to pull to be behind the camera today? Well, uh, <laughs> we do know that there is an elementary school student who would like Oh, that, yes. Oh, yeah. his father's probably going to say a hard no. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> but that wasn't part of my plan. No, but yeah. So but for the most part, I think. Yeah, they were supposed to be around like the ages of like ten to sixteen, mm -hmm. I think. I don't know exactly. I never got deep into the Pokemon like I don't know, the story and everything. Yeah. I just okay, watched so it and was like cool Colt, animals. Is this Colt's final story? Yes, I think Colt's oh. final story. Right. We got sidetracked talking about po about yeah. Pokemon for probably about <laughs> ten minutes. That was a not ten minutes. No, okay, yeah, it's it like five. Was it was like five. I just throw the ten. I throw like okay. I throw the I throw the um the ten minute thing out there because I don't look at my clock very frequently. So, 
eye tracking tech is another reason the metaverse will suck. Okay. okay. You want to explain that a little bit? So, just listening to saying eye tracking is going to make the metaverse suck doesn't really pull me in too much. So advertising, right? That's okay. how every free to use service really works, mm -hmm. right? Google isn't really free because they're selling your they're selling your data. Yeah. Um, for advertising, or, or they're they're pushing products onto you. Uh, this is a AI that uses human input data to create a prediction of where people will look on a screen in a given situation. So where, so when, when you, when you go to text, right? Yeah. You look at which the key? messaging app okay. to press it, right? Yeah. So then with so enough training, so the AI will predict that you're going to look at that app and then give you ads based on it would on... give you a, an ad so it's like if i of if, where you would look if almost. i'm playing a game in vr right mm -hmm. or in the metaverse that's just now. an example it yeah, won't, no, it won't it, give you an ad so it's like the example of i'm gonna I'm, oh i'm gonna go do this and then a pop-up ad does it just before i'm about to click on it would something be, it would be pop-up ads but in virtual reality when you're trying to go somewhere you're trying to walk somewhere and then you get like a a wall in front of just you. a wall like you have to click the x here and it's actually over here there's a fake one over here that's like <laughs> just so oh. the system uses example data to guess what a person is doing or looking at based entirely on their eye movements so the eye tracking is going to be in the headset but it's not and it's, it's not actually trying, tracking your eyes. It's just tracking it's given, it's given a a example group of eye example eyeballs? Not example eyeballs. I, I mean maybe. So I, it, I mean it's gonna take the view of what you're looking at and try to base it of what you're looking at and try they to make it into an ad. A, they feed an AI uh, a test group of of real people mm -hmm. looking at things on a screen and the ai takes that data and predicts what you will look at so if the majority of people in this test group look at the letter a instead of the letter b mm -hmm. it's going to predict that you will look at the letter a unless other data shows that you are more like the people who looked at letter b okay i can see how that could exactly. suck I could exactly. see. I could. That's, that's I could really see how creepy. that's both one creepy and how it would suck, like the title says. Mm -hmm. So the title wasn't creepy. very. Wasn't entirely. I mean, misleading. I I jump around looking at things when I'm doing that kind of stuff. So it's like, oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So it's like, mm -hmm. what what is that statistic or not statistic, but like, how are my statistics actually going to mm -hmm. <laughs> help with the majority? I'm going to be bouncing everywhere when I do metaverse stuff, so which it, I probably it, never will. It brings up the question of. Uh, what is the limit to the amount of of intimate data are we going to allow them to collect? That's true. Where where, where is the where is the line that we draw to stop people from being like we're gonna see at what, we're gonna get at ads what out point of you? Is it just too much, and they shouldn't have data on that? Yeah, yeah. Let's finish with something happy. I was gonna say, yeah, we need something yeah. Happy, Let's see. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got something. So, oh, so we were talking about Hot Wheels earlier, Bring up right? The Charlie, Cam. Charlie Cam. Charlie Cam. It's really nothing crazy. I think this is actually just a, a. I think it's either a picture of the video recent video game that they released or what. But Hot Wheels movie. Hot Wheels movie. Hot Wheels movie. Ooh. Yeah. So I I know I think they're doing a Barbie one right now. Which I don't know how that's gonna go. It's gonna be Barbie. Barbie is Barbie, but a Hot Wheels movie is gonna be interesting to me because I don't know how they're gonna spin it. Because like I remember like the the CGI animated movies back in the day. I remember the uh, the TV shows. They yeah. did Hot Wheels TV shows. I remember uh, it was like 
Battle Force Five. Yes, I remember that one. And I, I can't think of the name of the other one. But I know there was like another the, one that was more popular. Yeah, there was there's there's a few movies that mm -hmm. they've done. I think like one of them was like Highway Thirty Five and stuff like that. But, um, but they are planning to make a movie with J.J. Abrams and Warner Brothers. Wow. So I think it's gonna. I don't know how well it's gonna go, and. With it being Hot Wheels, it's got to do like some weird, wacky thing, right? It's like, gonna be like just a, a Fast and Furious movie. I don't know if it's. I don't. Mm, I don't know if I'd watch it if it's a Fast and Furious movie. But like, I don't mean an actual. Fast I know, and but movie, I'm just but... saying it's like if they're if they're, it's got to be like, like something wacky. Well, looking at the picture, there's. A loop I mean, loop I mean, it's it's gonna be like Hot Wheels. So there's there's gonna it's be gonna be Hot Wheels. Wheels. Like Unless it's gonna be just a. I like image. I said I, this might just be an image from the I mean it's just no, an it image it's just Mattel. image Mattel but it doesn't say like image Mattel a bad robot and mm -hmm. stuff like that but I don't know I think I'm kind of excited but maybe it'll be like the Lego movie where it's all yeah. about Ooh, good. yeah about the, the actual system. toys yeah yeah it's all about it's all about the toys somehow or it's gonna be like this man gets shrunk down into a Hot Wheel and he has to yeah. race for his life or something I don't know it could be something like that. No, I think that'd be a cool. It would be a cool movie, but I would bet I would have to watch many trailers before that. It's like the Super Mario Bros. movie that they're coming out with, the one being made by Illumination with Chris Pratt as with Mario. Chris Pratt as Mario. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's funny. I think I think we've rambled a little bit too much. A minute and a half over our time. Yeah, we've rambled for a minute and a half over an hour, over our hour. Yes, we have our O R. And I think I think if we were oh, to do oh, stats on this right now, <laughs> I think if we were to do stats on this entire uh, episode of Talking Tech, it's going to be us rambling more than it is talking about tech news. Probably you know what? There's your fearless leader was not here. And yeah, instead you had me. So... He ra he rambles too. Come we, on, me me and Sean both ramble in Ooh, the so regular episodes. We always ramble. Maybe a little bit more. It's also me not being able I'm to rein in things but, either. So, but you know, no, I mean, it's still it's still an episode of talking here and there. Yeah, I mean, it's still an episode of talking tech. So yep. it's gonna there's there's got to be some form of rambling at some point, right? There does. So I will say, if you guys want to wrap it up, yes, end the we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up right here, right now. We thank you everyone for watching, and we hope you have a great rest of your night. We'll see you next time. Follow us on. Uh, the Madison Public Library on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube, and Twitch. Yes, that's right. Thank we you.